Okay y'all, so if you watched my previous video about the uh, fix to the Echo SRM230, I previewed that I'm going to do a battery test for a Black & Decker Lithium 20 volt, uh, I guess you can call them 20 volt max, weed eater and blower, come with a bunch of other tools, chain saw, they can get like a circular saw pole saw, all kinds of other stuff, but I figure these are probably the more common items you'll see, and I also have already gotten rid of the others. This is the last one of these I've got. Um, so as a control, I'm going to run both of these at the same time. I've been told they're going to last for about 15 to 20 minutes from what I've seen online. I've got two 1.5 amp hour 20 volt max Black & Decker lithium batteries that are fully charged, hence the solid green light. So what we're going to do is I'm going to we're hoping for quality control purposes that they're basically the exact same. You're probably going to have a difference of anywhere between two and five minutes of, of run time, depending on the age of your battery and depending on how well Brig, or excuse me, Black & Decker made the batteries. Um, so let me get a timer. I'm going to plug these into the um, respective devices that they're going to run. We're going to turn it on and see how long they last. Okay, so I have the two batteries. I've got me a nice stopwatch here. And I'm going to position this camera so that we can see everything. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery in the blower turn it on. I'm going to actually stick the battery into the the um, weed eater because I have to have the switch on and I've already got the switch locked tighted, locked on. So here we go. And what I'm also going to do is since I presume that it's going to last at least 10 minutes just for sake of video purposes and length I'm going to uh, get it started and then I'm going to bring y'all back at the 10 minute mark to see how long they last all right so here we go in three two let me start this real quick three two and one
minutes in, still going strong, both of them. minutes and 55 seconds the blower just quit The weed eater is still going strong.
15 minutes in, the weed eater is still going. Uh, the blower's been dead for about six minutes now. And it looks like the weed eater has made it 20 minutes on a battery charge. Pretty impressive.
Alright, we're almost at 24 minutes on this thing. I can hear it change tune just a little bit, so it's probably going to be any minute now. Okay, friends, almost 25 minutes. As you can see, it just hit 25 minutes right now, so I'll stop it there. Um, let me gather my bearings. We'll do a quick wrap on uh, how everything went down and synopsis. And uh, hopefully you will have found this uh, little video informative if you're looking to buy one of these things. Okay, so let's wrap this up again. If you skip to the video, which, I mean, all it was was 25 minutes of stuff running, which is perfectly fine. The blower here, again, I've got the batteries back on the chargers now, but with fully charged battery, the blower, 12, just around 13 minutes, 12, 13 minutes. We either made it just shy of 25, which is kind of a pretty big difference. I was thinking that most of them were going to be around the 15 to 18 minute mark. Um, which I was pleasantly surprised by the weed eater pretty much par for the course for the blower um, in my opinion um, of course the proper test would be to swap the batteries to make sure it's not the batteries um, if you find that you have a different result than what I've gotten feel free to let me know but I, uh, I got these in, again, if you haven't been following my channel, I buy Walmart customer return merchandise and mostly lawn and garden stuff and ended up picking these up this year. Um, they've sold pretty decently. I um, started out with about six blower weed eater bundles and about seven or so of the weed eaters, only three blowers. Those sold all in the fall and uh, over the winter. but. They still sell them. I don't think Walmart sells them anymore. I think you can find them at Home Depot and other places. Pretty cheap for what you get for them. And again, you kind of saw how long the weed eater lasted, especially. So, um, one observation I did notice is when I took the battery off the blower, it seemed to be quite a bit hotter or warmer. I don't want to say hot than the one that I took off the weed eater after it ran again about twice as long which would make sense if the blower is using more power than the weed eater so just an observation again I hope y'all found this video informative um, I figured that this would be kind of a one that would appeal to a lot of people that are looking to buy one of these Black & Decker combos or might already have um, some Black & Decker 20 volt stuff and want to add this to their um, arsenal. So again, blower is about 13, weed eater is about 25, give or take a couple of minutes depending on quality control of Black & Decker and their batteries. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I don't really have a lot going on in the garage right now, but if I get any more items or if I get any more mowers in or anything like that, I will be glad to record them, especially if the um, fixes or something that aren't already on my channel or something that may be common or even out of the ordinary. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all found this video informative. Give me feedback. And I take and look at every comment and try and respond to most all of them. So thank y'all again. Stay tuned for the next one.